Welcome to the Let's Play Forza Motorsport Part 83. And our last level 40 event, another enduro race, da da. And it's the RGT Championship. There, there you go, there's the field. Got a pretty healthy field there. Let's see, what are we going up against? Okay. Well, I'm going to choose a different car for this than I've been using, aka this Viper. Just on the off chance that I might actually be able to win, I'm going to use this Porsche. Because why not? And we're going Road Atlanta, which is probably why I'm choosing Porsche, because I get some pretty good advantage. Anyways, as I was trying to say, I do get pretty good advantage through some of these turns around here, so... Especially in the beginning lap. Not so much the end, because of the fucking chicane. But let's see how this goes. 24 laps around Road Atlanta. I'm starting towards the back, so this first turn is going to suck balls. I made a lot of contact, got a lot of uh, front down force, or front arrow damage, and that Corvette just got fucking wrecked by the Audi. Pretty sure it was an Audi. Yeah, it was an Audi. Here's another Audi. There's me going off track. So, um, well, that's an eventful start to this race. With that little wreck there. Somewhat caused by me. Just beat the fuck out of the back of this Audi. For no reason other than I'm stupid. And we're going wide. And we're staying on the curb, which is a very, very bad idea. And I'm not getting any slipstreaming down straight away. Well, shit. Here comes the Cadillac. There goes the Cadillac. Shit, could not get the car stopped. I made the horrible mistake of following them. Yeah, the chicane's gonna be a very interesting place. Throughout this race, probably. Actually, gained position. I actually got past Cadillac because I recovered in a much more asshole way. Holy shit. And I get past, squeak past this Audi. Yes. That was a fucking tight ass pass. I don't know how the fuck I pulled that off, but I did. Now I'll try to catch the lead car. Let's go through this section much, much better this time. Oh, and we're still going off course. Five seconds out of the lead. I was kind of early on the brakes, and again, I was really hard on the brakes with all that lockup and shit happening. Ooh, that almost didn't work out. Actually catching the leader, which is nice. Probably didn't need that downshift. And yeah, got the gap down to two seconds, so I'm fucking booking it. Four seconds ahead of the third place car. Actually, try to get a good exit off here. There we go. That's much, much better. Oh. 
Still very low on brakes. The leader is off course. It's also the Volvo. Now that I'm close enough to recognize what car it is. In some cases, all I need to do is recognize the livery. Poke off the curb. I'm actually surprised how long these laps are as far as time. I was expecting like a low one minute range, like, uh, I don't know, minute 10. No, almost a minute and a half. He took that a lot slower than I was expecting. A lot slower. Alright, well then. There went that pass attempt. I was gonna get him, but no. He, he just fucking sandbag pretty much. Now the group behind me is catching me. Still two seconds behind, but yeah. Well, not two seconds behind anymore. Oh! Definitely not two seconds behind anymore. Alright, you know what? Let, let's go with that. Let, let's keep going. That was bullshit. But let's let's keep going. See if I can recover. I have a lot of arrow damage now. A lot. Just maybe get past this other Porsche. Fucking sister car, I guess. You call it. A little downshift just to give me a little bit of an acceleration boost, even though it probably didn't help. I might cut that turn a little bit. Now we have a fight for the lead between the Caddy and the Volvo. Cadillac's probably going to be my close. Well, no, probably too. He's definitely going to be my closest competition for this race. Let's make a move on the Volvo. into the chicane. And the Cadillac went off. Volvo actually stayed on track for once. Holy shit. Ooh, ooh, here's my chance. Nope. Can't get him. Alright, well, it's five laps complete. This fairly eventful race so far. That is not at all what I wanted to do. Fucking closing rates, man. Keep fucking me over. And cutting the turn. Well, that cone lasted for five, or, yeah, five laps. So, good for him. Okay, let's try to plan this better. There we go. Unfortunately, he's just gonna out accelerate the shit out of me, because one, Cadillac is faster, and two, I have a lot of arrow damage, which is, uh, producing lag. By lag, I mean drag. I don't know why I said lag. Alright, where are you? Here he comes. And the other Porsche is not that far behind. Get a little slipstream off of him. Forever. Fucking early on the brakes are both off in front of me. <clears throat> Volvo's just struggling like fuck around that chicane. Yeah, he continues to lead the race. Oh no. Okay, I hit that tire wall pretty square, luckily. That didn't really fuck me over. And there goes the Porsche off track. Being a little too aggressive there. Ooh. 
This is where I get the best advantage, but I can't fucking pass them. Thank you for breaking way earlier than I ever would have expected. Okay, well that no knocks the other Porsche out of the picture for now. Keep going wide there. Almost a half a tank. And once again, at least the Cadillac is off track. Couldn't tell if the Volvo did, though. So I can go about 14 laps on fuel. I might just pit at lap 10 to be, you know, gay. Oop, cut the turn again, god damn it. recovered from the shenanigans yet again fight for the lead is picking back up I'm still not a part of it unfortunately in due time in due time this Cadillac goes way off track I almost go off track. Ooh, that was a late turn in, very late. It's in slipstream range still. turn, but, um, that closing rate, front end's a little beat up now, by a little, I mean a little more, see, so, yeah, I have a lot of body damage now, a lot, and rejoining the fight, the other Porsche. I just cannot get around this Cadillac to save my ass. Oh! I was expecting them to dive on the inside, not fucking like that. Okay, well I'm definitely pitting at lap 10 now. Because uh, I have a lot of extensive damage on my car. In the drivetrain. Okay, maybe not extensive, but I have a lot of drivetrain jam. I'm surprised that that did not damage my engine. Because this is a rear engine car. And he pounded me really goddamn hard in the back. Like, I'm very surprised that it did not damage my engine. Hey, motherfucker. Remember me? And I'm out of slipstream range. Alright, anybody else behind me? Nope. 
Well. Fuck. <laughs> it's okay, I can recover. I, I still have a shot at winning this. Let me just, uh... Get out of the carnage for now. And, uh, repair my car. I'm gonna take a few extra seconds to repair my, uh... Suspension and brakes, apparently. So that'll turn the six second stop into nine seconds. So that's gonna cost me, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Um. Okay. The camera is being really weird here. I don't know if the car is or not, but, um, the camera's kind of positioned in a very odd spot, aka kind of at pit X. What the fuck is going on here? I think the camera disconnected from my car. It's not supposed to do that, but it did. So, alrighty then. That was very interesting. So, back on the circuit. Now with my fucking arrow damage that I can't... My body damage that I can't repair. But at least everything else is back. And full force. Full strength, I guess. So let's work our way back to the front. Thirteen seconds behind the seventh place car. Yeah, I'm in last. Still pretty tight, tightly bunched field. I mean, we are all, you know, GT cars and shit. Well, it looks like the last place car is way the fuck behind. See what I can do now, as far as uh, lap speed, time, whatever. Quickly closing in on the seventh place car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Of course, I have to make up those eh, extra seconds I lost. I uh, lost by doing extra repairs. So yeah, there's that. Like anybody's hitting pits yet. I actually didn't lock up the brakes that time approaching the chicane. Yeah, minute 27, that's not a good lap. So my car has a lot of body damage, so, um, straight line speed, kind of an issue. seconds out of seventh place now. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, 
Alright, looks like we have some uh, pit road shenanigans happening. So here we go. Test to see if I made up enough time. It's like, I can't really tell who's in the pits. All I know is I'm already past them. I don't even think they've made their stops yet. Ooh -ha -ha. Whoa, hey, how you doing there? I think this is the Audi that's uh, spun out the Corvette the first lap. Lightly influenced by me. Yes, it is. How you doing, Mr. Audi? Pardon me for a moment. I'm gonna take fifth position from you. Almost dumped me. That was really close. Get out of the grass. Alright, see what happens here on the run to the chicane. Aww. Please go that way, thank you. I was really hoping he would go to the left, and he did. Another car hitting the pits. Two cars, actually. That puts me back on the podium. It's like I had a much easier time getting into the pits than they all are. Just judging by how quickly I'm passing them. I'm only six seconds out of second place already. So I really wasn't going to uh, do this for this race, this uh, pit strategy I've been using pretty much throughout all of the Enduros, but um, after all those shunts and shit, especially that big one by the Porsche, I kind of didn't really have much of a choice if I wanted to win, which I do, so yeah. Here we are. Goes the last two into the pits. And that gives me the lead. For the first time in this race, actually. So I never got past the Volvo. Mostly thanks to the Cadillac. Fucking asshole. Now I'm gonna have a large lead. Only almost 10 seconds. Man, my car is taking a beating in this race. Actually right there in that right rear corner. But still trucking along, and I'm in the lead. My uh body damage situation is not a very good one. Alright, eight laps to go. At that Atlanta. Home of the Petit Le Mans. Ooh, 
well. Hitting my marks pretty well, too. I'm glad about that. At least my wing is still intact. Although it might be a little bent on the right side. Can't really get a good angle of it. Looks like it's bent down a little bit. Shit. Meanwhile, the second place car is actually catching me. And now he isn't. Okay. Never mind. Probably just that straightaway because of how um, slow my car is now with all this damage. to go. Alright, so second place car is kind of catching me. Overall. Oh, this is bad. It's not going to help my case at all. Seven seconds. I'm sure it's going to be much smaller once we get head to the chicane. I'm almost positive it's the Cadillac. That's the fastest AI car in this field. Just trying to look behind, see if I can get a look, but not a good, ain't good enough angle. Five laps to go. It's only closing me a second a lap, so if I keep this pace up, I don't have to worry about him at the end. Took that a little too fast. Bad setup. Eh, sliding everywhere. That was overall just really bad. Field is quite spread out now. 
almost completely evenly. Still can't see who's in second. Or should I say, I still can't confirm that the Cadillac is in second. smoother through that section this time. Woot. just tore the fuck up. Three to go. Breaks that almost was horrible. That was spelled the end of the race right there. Okay, well, I can see how this lap is going to go. Absolute shit. tank of gas left, but that should be plenty for these last lap and a half. By lap and a half, I mean two and a half laps. Yeah, about a quarter of a tank. I can go about 14 laps on a full tank, so... By about, I mean over 14 laps. Whoever's in second uh, is not the fastest car on the track. That would go to the fourth place car. Because uh, we got we got a fight for second place brewing here. It's going to help me out substantially. Oh, and we're wide. A very wide approach. Okay. That was bad. Let's pay attention to the map and not my actual, you know, driving. Up and over the curbs. Up and over the curb. band Chevelle stuck in my head because uh, they just released a new song from their upcoming album and it's good and I fucking love that band. It's like my one of my top five favorite bands ever. Oh my god. If you have never listened to them, you need to do it right fucking now, you fucking assholes. How dare you never listen to them. They're so good. Anyways, that was a really bad lap. And we're on the last lap. almost six second advantage, so as long as I don't choke horribly, I'll be fine. Ooh, 
shit. Going very wide. Get out of the grass. My tires are very worn. My left front is, anyways. Just go. Down to four seconds. Still can't tell if that's the Cadillac in second or not. I don't know. Just gonna make it through the chicane and all will be fine. There we go, made it through the chicane. Without getting dumped. And it is the Cadillac. Alright, round the final turn, and there we go, I win the Enduro at Road Atlanta. Alright, there we go, everybody's across the line. I ended up winning by only a second over the Cadillac, but I still take the victory, so huzzah. Holy shit. That is a big repair. 64% body damage. That's how fucked up my car was. Oh my god. Like, damn. Good thing I have that difficulty bonus, or else I probably would have made negative money. And upon winning that race, we win yet another Porsche. This time it's the number 22 GT3 Cup car, as opposed to the IMSA. All right, Speed GT car is what I meant to say. You know what I mean. Anyways, so that's all the level 40 events down. Just uh, so yeah to the next arcade series in the next segment. Stay tuned for that.